Thank you. Thank you so much. And thanks for the presentation. It's an honor to be here and to hear all of your wealth of knowledge. My question is, I fell in love with mindfulness and I've decided to go back and get a PhD. So I'm uh, currently trying to put together a dissertation. And what I've noticed in trying to uh, put together this research study is I can't find a lot of information about uh, tension control arms for mindfulness-based interventions. And so in your opinion, when trying to put together a quantitative study using MBSR GOAT standard as an eight week intervention, should I also include an attention control arm or just try to include a normal control arm in the intervention? Uh, yeah, uh, so I appreciate the question. And for the others, let me just um, sort of step back and clarify why this is an, uh, an important question. Uh, and uh, sort of what's riding on the question. Um, in terms of the research, if you compare a meditation group to a control group that doesn't get anything, uh, then uh, it may be that any changes that you see are not due to the meditation itself. Uh, it may be simply the fact that these are people who are being... Um, uh, uh, attended to more, uh, cared for more, uh, there's more interest being expressed in them. Uh, those are all kind of what we call non-specific factors, which can lead to improvement in and of itself. It's kind of like a placebo effect. And so if you want to say that any of the changes that you see are definitively due to the practices themselves, then you have to do other kinds of control conditions. And, um, you know, doing that is, it's not for the faint hearted. It's, they're not easy to implement. They're also, they're expensive. Um, uh, and so it's, it's one of the reasons they haven't been done so much. It's hard. It's really hard. We've developed a control condition for mindfulness-based stress reduction that we call the health enhancement program, which matches MBSR in every structural way. There are classes that meet every week for the same amount of time, the same amount of practice homework is, is requested. We've actually matched the level of enthusiasm of the teachers and their confidence in believing that what they're teaching will promote well-being, um, which is really important. Uh, uh, so we've gone to great lengths. But it was, you know, doing that is really not easy and it requires a lot to do. Uh, and most people don't have the resources to do that. Um, and so I would say do what, whatever it is you could do. Uh, I'm sure it will be of some benefit. Um, and at the very least, what you should do is what we call a weightless control, which is... Um, have people sign up for MBSR, or if that's the condition you're using, and randomly assign them to MBSR or to a group that you call a waitlist control where they're told that they'll get the MBSR, but they'll get it at some point delayed by six months or a year. Uh, and uh, that way, at least you match the, um, uh, the selection bias. Uh, because the, all of the, the people are interested in practicing meditation to begin with. So that's something that I would encourage you to do, um, uh, 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 which is not that difficult.